Okay, okay. All right, just a quick update on my long wheelbase F1 280 wheelbase Formula One chassis, which is the same base chassis as the vintage F1 car. So I have been running it now for quite a few batteries. Uh, the very first time I took the proto out, uh, I destroyed um, the SLA part for the nose. Wrong material, wrong. That was, that was just not right. So I have prototyped a little uh, piece of graphite for underneath here and I've redone the nose, just the mounts for the body post here where the, the body post is attached. Uh, the body post, the body part for the front is attached uh, in ABS. But as you can see, I have a lot of breakage on my wing in the front. Uh, it's been splittering pretty easily. This is something that happens quite commonly uh, with the plastic that I'm using uh, to do the bodies. The PETG is, is really great, it's flexible, but it's slightly more brittle than uh, Lexan. And so uh, on shocks, especially on the harder parts that don't have a lot of flex, like those pretty straight angles, uh, it kind of comes out uh, in pieces like that. So. I gotta redo a new bumper that will cover all the way to the sides, all the way over here, and then the, the, the plastic wing on the top will, will survive a bit more. And yeah, I think I've already done a quick, quick explanation that I had the damper tube in the middle here in the front, so just to kind of dampen this action of the front wheel. And other than that, uh, I've changed the wing. I've still cut it short over there. This is a free racing for the F113, I think. Rear wing, which is supposed to be a double uh, double deck. And I've, I've cut the upper deck. I like the super short wings, but honestly, that doesn't really make much of a difference. I think all the downforce in the rear is coming from the diffuser. Because when I'm running the tiny wing or this one, which is slightly bigger, I have pretty much the same downforce. Uh, the SDR aluminum pod is fairly heavy already, so you have quite good traction at the back, which is what I find with the pan car. Uh, that's the less the body is interacting with the air, and actually the best the handling. So here you go on that. I'm still uh, running the same damper. Uh, with no spring in the middle I have not played with the stiffness the oil or anything at the moment so this is still how it is I'm using the right GR for the front and for the rear and the semi electronic that I was using for my TRF 102 um, I need to play a little bit more with the caster angle uh, just for just for fun just to see what happens I've been playing on the on the trike with the caster um, uh, sadly, I've just changed the front tire of the trike, so I have to get used to the high traction in the front, which I haven't had for a very long time. I, I like very low traction in the front of the trike. So that's about it for my long wheelbase F1. I'm super pleased with this. Uh, same as the video I just put on before. This is going to be uh, available sooner or later on the store uh, as... Uh, Probably a naked platform, meaning uh, put your own front ends and put your own axle at the rear. I might have uh, custom made versions like that for people who want. Uh, the body will be available, of course, as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that. And on that note, see you later. Bye bye, stay safe.